Hello everyone, um, in this video I'm going to show you how to do the um, natural convection um, simulation using um, ANSYS Fluent. So I will have, uh, I have created a block with the Fluent flow here. Um, I will open the design modeler um, to create our geometry. So first I will go to the um, units and change my units to millimeters and go to xy plane create a new sketch so i will create a rectangular so let's do the dimensions as 80 millimeters and 120 millimeters so here I will draw some rectangles. Let's do this method. Okay. And the circle is here. Okay. Then I will go to modify. First I will select the circle and four side of sides of this rectangles by holding the control key then click on the copy and I will make four copies of these um, circles and rectangles so then press escape to finalize the copy I will go to modeling and um, since I'm doing 2D um, simulations to do the faster um, simulation here I will do the um, concept um, surface um, from sketch okay this is sketch selected and I will press generate so I have my geometry I will go to the meshing Here I will try to um, create a very quick mesh, but um, I will also explain if you want to go for more details what you can do. So let's do the um, size of the elements as set as one millimeter. So let's generate the mesh and see how it looks like. Always um, using some um, coarser mesh and see the general mesh. It's better to um, we will better understand um, the complexity of the geometry and um, generate our mesh, refine the mesh based on that one. So it uh, it looks like a pretty decent mesh. So let's check the mesh metrics from the quality. So let's check the skewness. Um, the maximum is 0.6, which is good, or lower than 0.9. It's okay. And orthogonal quality, the minimum is 0.66, which is um, more than 20 or 15 will be acceptable for most of the simulations. And also, if you want to, um, for example, study flow around the um, wall or a specific shape, it's better to have some um, inflations around that um, shape. You can right click here, insert inflation, select that. Um, I will create an inflation to just uh, demonstrate, but I will delete that one la later. The geometry will be our surface, which we are doing 2D. And the boundary will be, let's click this circle and apply like five layers of inflation. So let's generate a mesh. And the type of the um, transition is a smooth transition. So you can define the, the height of um, first layer or um, height of maximum layer based on your Y plus or um, based on your calculations. So this is um, 
more detail um, based on each turbulence model you are using based on your physics and those kind of stuff. Okay, our meshing is done. As you can see, um, for the other circles we didn't have any inflations, but for this one we have inflations, so we have finer mesh around that boundary. So we will not need this one for our simulations. I will just delete this inflation and generate mesh again. You, you can, um, based on the physics, as I mentioned before, based on the what you are, um, what's your goal from the simulations, you need to have finer mesh around specific objects, or um, if you have uh, like higher gradient somewhere, you need to study that part in more in detail. So you need to have a finer mesh, and also based on the computational power you have. So now we will um, define. Um, hold the control, define the, these, um, select these circles, then right click and create name selection, circles, and uh, for the name selections, the uh, creating name selections, the shortcut is N, the letter N on your keyboard. So I hold um, control and selected these 16 edges, as you can see here. Then I will press N, rectangles. Okay. So we have our name selections here and here. So and I right click, update the mesh. So it will send the mesh to fluid. So I will close this one. Let's open fluent and do our simulations. So I will use parallel mode, with 8 CPUs. I have an Intel CPU and also installed the Intel MPI, so that will make my parallel simulations faster. You can leave this one as default, so it's not that important, but um, if you have, if you are sure that you have installed the Intel MPI during your ANSYS simulations and you have, um, it's better to select in Intel um, because I or if you have a IBM um, MPI, it's better to select IBM. I, I have seen that it's making some difference on the simulation um, speed. Okay, we have our mesh here. So um, let's select transient simulations. And as you know, for um, natural convection is um, occurred by um, density gradients and based on the gravity we will have some buoyancy forces so having um, gravity defined in our simulations is in our simulation is essential for the natural convection so the other essential thing that is defining a material that its density is changing by temperature so as a default the air for example is uh, has a constant temperature so if you do the simulation you will not see any um, natural convection, the only thing you will see is the conduction. So it's better to change it for incompressible ideal gas. Or if you have another material, if you have a table, um, you can use a piecewise linear and um, input your table here, the, temp um, the uh, density versus temperature. Okay, let's do um, create change and uh, it automatically enabled energy equation because uh, we did the ideal gas. So I will leave it as is. For the viscous uh, model, I will um, keep the laminar because I want to do the faster simulation. But um, based on the um, physics you are simulating, you can calculate the Grashof number, which is like a Reynolds number for the natural convection. And based on that, you can identify um, the nature of your um, simulations and based on that you can select your turbulence model model or keep it as a uh, as a laminar okay now let's define the temperature of the circles and uh, define the circles as a temperature boundary condition so i will change the temperature units here temperature celsius okay 
let's define them twin as the 20 Celsius, all of the circles and all of the rectangles. Let's define them as uh, boundary condition of the 60 Celsius. So we'll have hot rectangles and cold uh, circles here. So let's go to initialization. I will initialize the system at 30 Celsius. And click initialize. So first, let's go to calculation activities and save um, our data every one time step. Also, I want to see the temperature counters. So for 2D simulations, uh, after selecting which counters you want to do, it's better not to select anything. So in this case, you will have this. Or if you if you select, for example, um, this is service body, you will see the mesh in in your counter. Um, it was common in all of the previous um, fluent uh, version so it's better not to select anything and just press display so you will have the um, counter everywhere also i want to see um, loss directors so let's keep this one as is and select save and let's close this one and from the calculation activities i want to see the animations of these counters and the first one, this one, and another um, second animation as the velocity vectors. Then I will go to the calculations. I want to have a 0.1 seconds um, as the time step size. And let's do a 10 second simulations and iterations every. Um, <clears throat> number of iterations every time um, every time steps 10 so let's do the calculations and as you can see um, for every time step it will create the um, velocity vectors as well as um, temperature gradient temperature counter and animations and also it's saving the data for every time step so it will take a while so i will pause the video and come back when the simulations are finished now our calculations um, are finished so let's click ok and you can go down to the animations and solution animations uh, animation playback and you can see like because of the cold and um, hot um, rectangles we have um, airflow to the top but um, since the um, others um, circles are cold they are pushing down the air and we have a downflow um, using um, through that um, cold air so let's see the velocity vectors so you can um, let's you can see some circulations here and it's very nicely showing the um, sorry about that velocity vectors and let's stop here let's close the um, Fluent, and I will show you how to create the um, solution animations using the po uh, CFD post. Now we have the um, CFD post open. Let's um, create a counter. So location will be um, in the 2D. We will have a um, symmetry plane because it's kind of instead of 2D it's um, defining our geometry as a very thin 3D in the um, in CFD post so it doesn't matter which symmetry you're using so just um, select one of them select 
temperature. Let's have 50. Um, let's have 50 counters, and let's not have the counter lines. So looks pretty um, smooth. So let's change these label views to fixed number. Precision one will be enough. So. And um, also we can have the vectors. Let's hide this counter. So the location will be again symmetry. And lost the vectors. Okay, that looks nice. And um, now we can have a video, for example, Let's um, click on this video and time step animation. So we can go to the beginning of our simulations. Let's make this window a little bit smaller. Okay. So and play this animation. So um, to save this uh, video, let's go to the beginning, go to the options. Um, here in the advanced, you can um, select the quality. Let's do the high. And uh, this is the size of this uh, video. You can do the H, um, like HD video, seven, 720 pixels, or uh, full HD, 180 or you can do 4K custom screen size. Let's do the, see you can select white background, save the movie, and I will do the MP4 version. And then you press play. It will start um, generating the movie for you. So again, I will, um, Pause the video and play the movie when it's finished. Now the uh, video rendering is finished. You can see our uh, video of the animation we have created. So we can um, like go ahead and, um, for example, hide this counter and um, show these vectors. And we can um, create a video for the velocity vectors. So for the vectors, we can let's stop the video here. So you can change the symbols to the two, 3D arrow and symbol size. Let's do the three. So you can see the videos. Uh, so when you use like 3D arrow, it will be more intense graphically, but you can see that it's showing very nice how the vectors are changing. You can use the same way to save this video and export an animation. For and also you can um, create different type of um, post-processing based on your needs. And that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching this video. And if you like um, our videos, play, uh, please like this video and subscribe to our channel. And uh, see you soon.